Good morning, everyone, and thank you for joining me once again on my YouTube and Rumble channels. Today is October the 16th, and I'd like to share a word with you from the Lord this morning. Just a minute to apologize for the poor quality of my last few videos. I hope this video will come across much clearer. Thank you for your patience. The word I'd like to share with you today is a short one, but it is definitely to the point. And as I have shared in previous videos, the Lord had expressed to me that he was calling me to receive these words from him and to send them out, and that they were prophetic words regarding the end times, and specifically to prepare people for Jesus' return. He called it end time prophetic word. As I waited on the Lord for this word, asking him about times ahead, this is how he answered me. It is a sobering word. It's not new. And it definitely fits in with the theme and purpose for this channel. I hope this word blesses you. And for those of you who may not have a personal walk with Jesus Christ, this word could cause offense. You may not receive it with gladness as those who do. My prayer is that as this message goes forth, it would reach those who God intends to hear it. And in this title of this word today, words are not minced. This word is titled, The Return of Christ. I'll begin by reading scripture. Acts 2 verses 18 through 20. Even on my servants, both men and women, I will pour out my spirit in those days, and they will prophesy. I will show wonders in the heavens above and signs on the earth below, blood and fire and billows of smoke. The sun will be turned to darkness and the moon to blood before the coming of the great and glorious day of the Lord. This scripture passage speaks of the events and the signs that will take place just prior to the Lord's return. Matthew 24 verses 36 through 40 But about that day or hour no one knows, not even the angels in heaven, nor the Son, but only the Father. As it was in the days of Noah, so it will be at the coming of the Son of Man. For in the days before the flood, people were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage, up to the day Noah entered the ark. And they knew nothing about what would happen until the flood came and took them all away. That is how it will be at the coming of the Son of Man. This scripture passage is a very sobering passage. It is explaining what will be going on when Jesus returns. And it is likened to in the days of Noah, when people were oblivious to what was taking place, and they were caught unaware by the floodwaters that destroyed them all. I'll begin reading this word. Who is like the Lord? Who can comprehend his ways? His ways are high above the ways of men. I am shining my light forth, says the Lord. I am illuminating the way for many who have gone astray. I am sending forth my word to every corner of the earth. A pathway is being made ready for a procession of men into the kingdom of God. 
I have sent my angels out to gather in the harvest, my end time harvest. Do you not see? Do you not know that the times of the end are upon you? That very soon you will witness the return of your king. So many doubt, so many scoff at my return. But I tell you, the end is soon. And just as in the days of Noah, people will be going about their daily business when all of a sudden the end will come with many being caught unaware. Keep alert, keep focused on me, and recognize that world events taking place are an indication of the times. So, what do you have to look forward to? The clouds will be rolled away, and I shall come to snatch my beloved up to be with me. I promised joy unspeakable, and you will experience this as you are lifted up and stripped of your earthly garments and clothed in white. This is true freedom. This is where all sickness and pain ends. This is what my bride is longing for, to be swept off her feet and into the arms of her beloved. And this is what my heart longs for, to become one with my bride. I have spoken to you of this day and have been preparing you for it. Yet many will be caught off guard. Even some who claim to know me will be left behind. Pray for your loved ones that they will be ready. Tell them the time is soon. There is still a short window of time to get the word out. So be faithful to sound the alarm. You may be ridiculed and laughed at. But do not let that deter you. I have given you these words to send forth to reach those who would hear. Storms are coming that will usher in the final events of history with blood, fire, and billows of smoke. Take refuge in the Lord. Anchor into Him and be ready to leave it all behind as the greatest event of all time transpires. In this word today, the Lord is not mixing words. He is making it clear that he is sending out a clarion call, an alarm, an alert to let people know that his coming is very soon. He is telling us that the events taking place in this day are events that will usher in his coming. And he is telling us many will not receive this message, even those who claim to belong to him, that many would be left behind. This word today is not just a message from the Lord. It is a trumpet call to those who have ears to hear, to be ready and waiting and anticipating his return. The Lord has spoken about his return many times in previous words, but I don't think there was even one word so profoundly challenging us to be ready. We have much to look forward to the freedom that Christ died to bring us. And that is when we are taken up to be with him, stripped of our earthly garments, stripped of our fears, of our concerns, of our sicknesses, and brought into joy unspeakable. Are we truly looking forward to the time of our Lord's return? This is the question we need to ask ourselves. The Lord is challenging us to take stock. Are we in love with our bridegroom and longing for that day when he comes to take his bride to be with him? This is the question the Lord is asking us. 
and my prayer is that each one of us would truly search our hearts and be able to say, Yes, Lord Jesus, come. I am ready. I hope this word has encouraged you today, especially if you are anticipating the Lord's return. However, if you aren't, the Lord is giving a short window of opportunity to come into intimacy with Him so that you too have this event to look forward to in your life as well. Thank you all for listening today. May the Lord bless you, encourage you, cause you to prosper, and prepare you for all that is in store. Be blessed on this day. Have a great afternoon, and we'll talk to you again in the next video. Bye for now.